It's the end of an eventful year, and WebStorm 2021.3 is heading out the door. Hi, I'm Paul Everett, JetBrains Developer Advocate. This new release brings features, refinements, bug fixes, and a look at some big things to come. Let's take a look at what's new. As always, the WebStorm team worked hard on keeping up with the world of JavaScript and TypeScript with small improvements and a lot of fixes. If you use TypeScript and you use private fields, you probably know that we added support in 2018 for the provisional syntax. Well, the new final TC39 is here and 2021.3 supports ES2022 private class members. Let's say I want this message field to be private. I'm gonna do a refactor rename. I'm going to put a hash in front of it, and that is the syntax for saying that this should be private. And when I do, the IDE now gives me an error message saying that message is being used, it's private, and it's being used from outside of the class. Now, we're working on intentions and refactorings to automate the conversion from the old syntax to the new syntax, but it's not so simple. Lots of new semantics in this language change. Doing the dirty work for you is one of the things we do best. In this release, we added two new intentions for helping you organize your code. First, putting a comma-separated list of elements on multiple lines and vice versa. In this case, it's on multiple lines, and I would like it on one. Alt-Enter, and choose to put it on one line. Then, if it's like this and I want to go in the other direction, why, yes, I can. Alt-Enter again. Choose the multiple lines option and a very frequent activity and task is now just an alt enter away. If you have single and multi-line comments in your code and you would like to change them to js.comments, we have an intention for that too. Put your cursor in the comment, alt enter again and replace with js.comment and your work is done for you again. There are more JavaScript and TypeScript goodies in WebStorm 2021.3, improved support for mono repos, faster indexing of JavaScript files, support for URLs in import statements, and better mapping and navigation between .js and .d.ts files. We work hard at updating our support for frameworks and technologies. Let's see two such improvements in WebStorm 2021.3. Over the last few years, WebStorm has made working with dependencies in package.json really convenient. And here's another step. Want to update a dependency to the latest version? Hmm, I wonder if Gatsby has been updated. Alt-Enter to the rescue, and one of the choices, update Gatsby to the latest version, 4.2.0 or higher. Press enter. Now, by default, this only provides a quick fix and it isn't highlighting the outdated package in any way. If you would like that, if you'd like the warnings to be more prominent, you can change the inspection severity level in settings preferences. So I'll go to preferences. And if I go to editor and then look for update package.json dependencies in here. And here's where we can change the severity level. There's a lot of interest in Dino. I'm interested. In WebStorm 2021.3, we reworked our Dino support and migrated to the Dino language server protocol. Dino support isn't yet bundled, so you'll need to install the plugin. That's a trip over to settings or preferences in the plugin section. Do a search for the Dino plugin, find it, click install. It will go and get the plugin, apply OK, and it will download it um, and set it up. At that point, it detects, hey, maybe this is a Dino project. Would you like to enable Dino support? Why, yes, I would. If I click the wrong thing or forget to click, I can go to the Dino section in the settings preferences 
And there I will see a checkbox that was the equivalent of the yes that I just selected for turning on Dino support, as well as doing some of the configuration options for getting Dino set up. Back in my code, I see that the red squiggles have gone away. I can do some of the things you would expect to be able to do. I could mouse over a symbol from the remote package and get the inline docs preview. I can also do things like, I wonder if there's another symbol from there that I might be interested in, such as restring to limb. Yes, I can go and get the autocomplete for that. Hit enter and I have an import. Running and debugging work about as you'd expect with more support planned for the future. We've improved the way completion works in HTML. Previously, to complete a tag name, you needed to type the less than sign and then part of the tag that you wanted to complete down and enter would start the completion. Now you can skip the less than. We know that block quote is one of the tags, down, enter, and then go ahead and start typing. This also works for HTML character entities. For example, non-breaking space, select enter and we get auto completion on character entities we've been busy on other framework and technology features including typescript type checking in Vue and react templates new features for the http clients such as support for binary responses like images now on to the big new things around remote development, starting with this WebStorm 2021.3 release. WebStorm 2021.3 now supports a beta version of the remote development workflow. It allows you to connect from anywhere in the world to a remote machine running WebStorm's backend. All the processing will happen over there on that powerful remote machine, and you'll be able to work on the project just as seamlessly as if it were on your local machine. This functionality can be initiated from a new application called JetBrains Gateway. For more details, see a blog post that will be coming out and we will work on a dedicated video soon. Exciting stuff. WebSworn 2021.3 has a few other tricks up its sleeve for remote development. Development with remote Node.js interpreters for things like ESLint, NPM, Jest, and Mocha, and proxy support for SSH connections. 2021 has seen a focus on refining the user experience, not just in WebStorm, across the whole company, all of our products, and 2021.3 really continues this work. You can now split the run tool window. This is great for me. I frequently have Gatsby's clean script running in one tab in the run tool. And then I have the dev server running in another. If I wanted to see them side by side, I can do it just by drag and drop. Watch how simple this is. Now they are both visible at the same time. If I changed my mind and didn't want them split, just right click on the tab, unsplit, and put it back the way that it was. The show usages feature received a small but handy improvement in this release. You can now turn on the source code preview for a found usage by clicking this square icon and look at the bottom of this pop up. I will now have the listing of the file at the location of that usage. A lot easier than having to go jump to that file and poke around on um, what that usage might mean. Lots and lots of other refinements to the user experience in both the platform and in WebStorm itself. Improvements to the terminal, ability to change the font size for all tabs, and accessibility updates. Ah, I just love the IDE's version control integration, and I love that it keeps on getting better, including in WebStorm 2021.3. Sometimes you may have several commits that are ready to ship while others still need to be works in progress. You just wanna push a few. In this release, we let you push commits up to the one you have selected in the log tab of the Git tool window. To do so, I will go to the Git tool window, 
and go to the log tab. And I've got three commits that haven't been pushed yet. And I want to push the first two, but not the third one. I can go to the second one and I can right click on it and select push all up to here and it will do the push that I need. What would the equivalent have been like from the command line? I don't know, I don't have to, thanks to WebStorm, wonderful. The JetBrains version control team has more for us in this release, they always do. Reorganized VCS settings, check out and rebase onto current for remote branches and new changes tool window. And that's a tour of what's new in WebStorm 2021.3, some new features, lots of little refinements with the start of big things to come for remote development. Thanks for watching this video and thanks for using WebStorm.